Well, Mac, the last time that you and I sat down, it was at a blackjack table and we we're discussing whether to go all in or not. That was like four or five years ago. Fast forward now, Cape Town, South Africa. It's been a crazy last few years for you. Yeah, it has been a crazy last few years. You know, a lot's happened. Um, you know, left Australia, decided to take my family over to Japan, to um, Suntory Sun Goliath. Um, and now kind of back where it all started for me. Um, back in sevens. Yeah, take us back to that. So your last run around in the Aussie colours was 2014, is that right? Yeah, that would have been the Com Games back in Glasgow. It would have been the last time I had run in seven, so quite a while ago now. Do you miss this whole travelling circus that in the team room, the teams all together and that kind of thing? Yeah, it's crazy. It's, um, you know, there's so many teams and people around the hotel at lunch, at breakfast, at dinner. It, it, you do miss it a little bit, all the all the craziness of it all, but it's still awesome and it's great to be back around it. Uh, speaking of working your way back into the team, saw you cutting around in a Hawaiian shirt early in the week with some of your old teammates. Was that part of your reintroduction, thanks to Louis Holland and a few of the other boys? Yeah, I think so. You know, Rocket and, and Louis got, into a, got around each other when we first got in. I haven't seen him in quite a while, so it's a bit of a reintegration back into the side and it was good to good to see those boys and get, get around it. What did you, what caught you about coming back to sevens why have you come back to short form again um i think just the opportunity with the olympics around the corner um you know while she rang me up and said you know would i be interested in in getting around and we were able to make things work with my obviously my japanese club suntory and and wanting to come back and it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and and i'd love to do be able to help out in any way possible you've been put through your paces on the trading paddock and it ain't easy is it coming back oh, 15 to 7. there's so much space out on the field that you, you forget about you know 15 you got someone right next to you no more than a meter and i'm out there training today and i've got about five meters each side so you know getting used to that again and the pace that training was at again today is just the lungs are absolutely blown for those uh, uh other players who are considering the jump back from 15s to 7s ahead of the Olympics. Uh, how, I mean, how hard is it? How much game time do you reckon you need before you're firing again? Um, I think it, having the ability, I know I'll be able to get two tournaments in definitely that, I, that I'm going to get the chance to, to play in, which I think, you know, that for me, I feel would be a bit of a minimum because I'll get that feel again for the 7s. I know just being back training, I know that it's going to take a few games for me to really get that feel again for that sevens environment, especially out on the field. A lot of Aussie rugby fans will be stoked seeing you back in national colours this weekend in Cape Town. Are we sort of getting the hopes up that maybe you'll bounce back to the Wallaby side down the track as well? Geez, who knows, you know, that's down the track. All I'm focusing on right now is Cape Town and, and getting that gold jersey back on for the sevens. And when you do go back to club footy before potentially coming back into sevens again, you're with Suntory with some familiar faces back in yep. Japan as well. Yeah, obviously you got Samu Karevi, you got Matty Gitto that I play with over there. They're all great boys. So we have a great side there at Suntory. And uh, Samu Karevi, he's been thrown up as a potential returnee or be his first swing in Aussie Sevens colours. How do you reckon Samu would go? Yeah, I think, you know, you've seen how he plays Wallabies. He's a destructive ball runner. Um, he would absolutely have killed, I think, especially with his pace, his offload game as we've seen him throughout you know, the World Cup and that. So I think he'd, he'd be a great addition if he was able to get back for it. I always tell fans at Sevens events to pace themselves. I'm gonna tell you the same thing for this weekend. Just take it easy and work your way into the tournament, right? <laughs> I think that might be the best idea, <laughs> but I don't think I'm capable. It's 110% or nothing, so we'll see how we go. Enjoy yourself, great to see you back. Yeah, will do, cheers.